Hello everyone and welcome and thank you for clicking on this video. So today's video is another speed build and this is a Art Deco family home for six family members and I will talk about them a bit later when I get into the video more and about this house and everything but firstly I want to say that I was scrolling through Pinterest of course um, and I saw this house that was kind of I think it was from 1940s or something and it was that kind of like art deco style like it is mentioned before yeah um, and basically I kind of fell into a loophole of of finding those houses and buildings and everything and I got really really mad that we can't have rounded walls in the Sims like we can only put a patio um, a rounded patio and kind of put the fences and that's it like we can do rounded walls which is kind of frustrating and sometimes it is hard to build like that in the Sims but I was trying to make it work for this home and hopefully I did an okay job I guess but <laughs> you'll be the judge of that so like I said this is a six family members home and that includes two parents two kids and two grandparents and that means they are not all in the same house like this one there is also one house that is kind of like additional house I would say and I kind of get into that idea when I was building the backyard and I kind of was thinking with what I should fill up the space and I added this garage and then I added a bit more of a housing but but yeah, I, I firstly I didn't think that I would put like grandparents like include them in here I kind of thought that it, I would make this house for maybe their you know son or daughter or whatever But I kind of went without story because like I said, I don't usually uh, Do that. I don't usually do builds for elders and I am really trying to do that more because I feel like they are um, as important as any stage of of the sims or our our lives as well so yeah but basically um, that additional house only has one bedroom and one bathroom and the main house has three bedrooms and two bathrooms now the bathrooms in both of the houses are pretty small I think that the downstairs bathroom in the main house doesn't have a sink as well as the house um, that is for the elders so yeah I, I'm kind of sorry for that but I, I just didn't have space for it and hopefully it doesn't bother you because I feel like most people don't really care about the bathroom so I guess it's kind of okay but yeah basically for the outside I've used some debug objects because I wanted to fill up the front and it kind of always looked like some something was missing and I was just trying to figure out what it was missing and it was like a really it was it was a struggle um, because it never looked how I wanted it to look and um, yeah but at the end I think that I made it work so hopefully you think that too but let me know in the comments but anyways this is the house that I was talking about for the grandparents as you can see there is a lot of like rounded patios and stuff and also um, there is a pool that um, everyone can use but as well there is a pool um, f you can enter it from the parents bedroom like they have their own um, what is it called balcony I would say or something like that um, and so they can enter it and um, take a swim there but the thing is is that the pool is um, you can see it from the living room uh, no no the dining room and the kitchen so that is kind of <laughs> like that but I kind of thought that that was a bit cool um, so I left it like that I put some windows so you can see see it better um i wish that we had like an aquarium that was as big as you know we would go up to the ceiling and there there will be a lot of light and there will be a lot of fishes and uh yeah basically that's what i was imagining when i was building this pool but also whenever i use um fish tanks or anything like that i always remember i don't know if it was from the sims 3 or sims 2 but when we could have like feed the fishes when we bought them like uh, 
um, and if we didn't they would die and I think that that was like a really great feature and so we don't get to have that in The Sims uh, 4 which is really um, a bit sad because I really really wanted to have that and I was really disappointed the first time that I was playing with it and I was trying to uh, I bought the fish and I was like trying to see if I could fe feed it and I couldn't and it was really confusing to me like why would they do that like why wasn't I able to feed the fish and take responsibility for it or consequences whatever um, but yeah I guess that's the Sims 4 <laughs> but yeah anyways like I said this is the backyard and because of the state of living, I got to incorporate that basketball kind of field, I would say. Um, and I usually never use that in my game. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know why. Um, because I think that that's a really good feature in the game, especially because of the city of living. And I probably should have used it more, but... Yeah, hopefully I will in my next build. But anyways, this is the kitchen and as you can see, this is a kitchen in orange and blue colors. And for some reason, whenever I am using these cabinets, I always go for orange or blue colors or kind of pale gray or white. I don't know why, I just don't like the colors that we get. Um, I think that they put a lot more darker colors than it needed to be and I wish that they would fix that maybe in some update or something but I just think that um, these cabinets are really really good they are good looking and I wish that the colors of them were better looking like I said but there isn't anything special about this kitchen. I actually like the one for the grandparents more because it is similar, but it is very small. So it's like more cozy. I don't know why, but I really, really like small builds. And also the, I kind of feel like the house, I wanted to go for more clutter home and to just make it feel more cozy and everything, but I just don't do that. And I know somebody commented on my video, I think it was for a Sim family home. And somebody commented that I should, you know, put a lot more clutter in the house or the houses that I build. And I do consider that sometimes because it can feel a bit more homey. But then again, I want to leave um, space for, you know, when you guys download it and to make it your own as well. But I am um, planning to do a build that is like fully cluttered and hopefully I will do it soon. I just have to think about um, what family I would put there, uh, how the house would look and everything. So that would probably take some time. Um, but as you can see, this is a dining room. The dining room is pretty big and that is just because I imagine that um, Maybe they have a lot of friends and guests um, When I was building this actually the father of this family as I imagined when I was building this is a protester like maybe his daughter as well and that's why in the beginning of the video in the intro you will see the van and I found the van in the debug objects and I thought that it would fit perfectly for this home I don't know why I just wanted to put it there so yeah maybe he you know drives around with it and um, is going on about rights in the world and everything so yeah maybe that's his job but I don't know what the mom is doing um, you can make that up for yourself if you want to I guess and so yeah basically I kind of wanted to fill up the space for the this kind of little hallway but I just didn't know what to put it kind of looks you know, I, I like that it's an open plan for the house because I usually um, put a walls, like I divide the kitchen and the dining room and the living room and I should probably not do that often as I do. But as you can see, this is the living room and I was trying to do that kind of, I think that this is like more an 80s style maybe, <laughs> um, where you have like, you know, the, the sofas you have under. Um, I don't know how to call it, um, 
well you get what I'm saying you see what I am doing and um, th that's what I was going for and I really really like how it turned out I changed colors a bit and some of the objects because I just didn't like how it looked for example that chair I thought that my sims won't be able to sit there so I kind of changed that and then there also is a fireplace um, I really wanted to have a fireplace here so I've placed it right under that window as you can see and it kind of I don't like that it's divided from the TV and like the sitting area like that but I really had no choice because if I wanted to go with the way that I was doing this living room then I had to do it like that so yeah I, I need to be happy about that I guess and also the colors that I've used for some objects in this build are <laughs> kind of questionable because I've never used them. For example, the bookshelf, like you can see, it is in kind of brownish and yellowish colors and I've never used that because it just doesn't fit with anything and I'm really glad that I got to use it here because I will probably never use it. Um, well, maybe I will in some other builds, but like I said, I've never used that color anywhere so yeah and this is the main bedroom I know it's small it's actually really really small but you know you, they get the balcony and you can enter this bathroom from their room and the girls bedroom so you can't really enter it from the hallway when you go upstairs which is kind of not cool but i really didn't know where else to put the bathroom so it is right here as you can see and then this room is pretty sim simple i didn't really have to decorate it that much because it is small like i said so it was really really simple to put the objects down and this is the boys bedroom and it, again it is also really small so I wasn't you know had I didn't have to put a lot of stuff in here I, I actually I really like this bed I think that w uh, when I first started to play The Sims 4 because I didn't play The Sims 4 right when it came out um, I played it after a few expansion packs, game packs, um, stuff packs and I really I remember that I really really liked that bed it was really well the colors um, yeah some of the colors are not that great I probably would never use it um, I think that there are like really bright pink colors were mashed with um, the blue colors and I just really don't like that but other than that I think it looks good and I just wish that we got a king bed like that as well and not um, other beds we got but yeah and basically this is the girls bedroom it is also not something so special I guess um, she has a king bed as well and then she has her own balcony and I think that on the balcony I put like a lounge chair and then um, a chest table I think think so yeah but I don't know if I show it on the video I think not because I did that later and I think it's very simple girl room I didn't put a lot of color into it or anything so you can decorate it however you want and that is the point and then we got into the elders or grandparents um, house and as you can see the kitchen is really really small and I really really like it because it's so cute and small um, and I love how it turns out like I said already and I love the colors that I've used um, I think that the colors that I've used are the same as the ones I've used in um, the main house so there isn't that much of a difference but I feel like it looks more cozy because it because it's smaller and then um, that little room you can see by the kitchen is the bathroom like I said the bathrooms are pretty small in this build so I'm really really sorry for that there is only a shower and a toilet in it but I think that's that's all they need so it's not really that big of a deal and then like I said there is a small living room and I really wanted to use that sofa somewhere because we got that in city living and I just think that it looks really good so um, and yeah I wanted to use that chair also because it 
it just screams grandma to me um, and then I didn't really know what table to put because I feel like all the tables we have are so big and they don't fit here and like the only small table we got was in tiny living and somewhere else maybe but that's it and I think that we should have that in the base game too but yeah, maybe we will get them in some updated version of the base game, but <laughs> we will see. Hopefully we will. Um, but yeah, we are getting to the end of this video because like I've said, I've already talked about this house. I told you what it, it consists of. So, um, but yeah, if you want to download this house, it will be available on my gallery. My ID is SimiCreamy. So if you want to download it, you definitely can. Um, let me know what you think think uh, and especially let me know what you think of this kind of style for the houses because I really really like that and I like I said in the beginning I really wish that we can make um, rounded walls and not just you know patios and everything so maybe I will do more of them and hopefully I will because I really like the building with this style and it always reminds me of like orange and blue colors so maybe um, other houses will be like that as well so yeah I, I just apologize in advance if that bothers, bothers you um, but yeah like I said hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye